My name is Jamila Sams. I'm an education consultant and the founder of Go to Miss Sams Incorporated. Welcome to our first pilot for Strategy Supper. So as a part of the first Strategy Supper, again, we kind of start off really organically in my living room, having a conversation about uh, initially just doing introductions, finding out what everybody's background is and kind of my relationship to each of the guests uh, because all the guests that I've invited thus far have been people that are already existing within my network. Um, after that, I kind of shared a little bit of a synopsis of what I will be at um, features and uh, the components, um, what I feel as though has worked well so far, areas for improvement. But before my guests arrive, I really took some time to look at my business plan and, and pretty much do a SWOT analysis, looked at the strengths, looked at the weaknesses, opportunities and, opportunities and threats ahead of time to come up with some questions for my guests because I want to make sure that when this strategy supper is over, I have... Um, um, some takeaways and some plan action steps in order to move the business forward. I will be it as a mantra, something for a young person to look in the mirror and say that this is what they're going to be and they're not going to allow anything to stop them from reaching that particular opportunity. So the innate drive is there, but a lot of times that innate drive doesn't exist if they're not exposed. So what I, be, I will be it does it exposes young people to various career opportunities through experiential learning at various companies and industries and um, think tanks, whatever it takes to get them out of the classroom and in an authentic setting for them to learn about that particular career field. And so experiential learning, the way that our brain operates, that's the way that we all as human beings learn best. And so why not apply that knowledge to exposing young people to various careers. So I like to call I Will Be It the anti take your child to work day. Young people go to a company and as they go to a company before they step through the door I've already consulted with the company and I've already consulted with the school to find out what it is that those young people are going to be exposed to when they enter that particular company. What are the industry standards? What are the trends that are happening right now within that particular industry? And I take all that information to the school and then I speak to the school, which course do you think would be best aligned with what this industry is all about? Let me speak to that teacher, let me look at that teacher's syllabus and let's line the teacher's objectives with something that they can do, some type of hands-on project with that partnering company. So that nothing is being taught and nothing's being uh, exposed in isolation. The school and the company are working together for the benefit of that young person. So after that, we went over to the table where uh, we had some cuisine from a local chef, Will Walker, um, make an awesome spread for the guests uh, based on their dietary needs or any restrictions. Um, but that's a, another great way to promote local entrepreneurs in the culinary arts uh, to get them featured for uh, the strategy supper each time we do this. At the table, we had uh, extended our conversation to get more into the nuts and bolts of my business plan, everything from the budget to marketing to how to advance to the next steps. And um, it's my hope that after this is finished, we'll have follow-up um, meetings via um, online in order for the guests to see the fruits of their labor and to see that the business is growing. Could I will be it be a consulting model for connecting companies to schools where I pretty much go in and uh, be kind of a project design manager and say, okay, well, if Comcast wants to work with the Crossroads School, this is what it could look like. I'm bringing both parties to the table and I am designing something for you all to then implement and I can provide technical support along the way. So how do you grab the students inside of the school? Uh, a lot of times I work with the principal or deans of students or whoever they designate to be my point of contact and I kind of share what the experience looks like and then I ask the school to, to direct me to that particular teacher or those students that have a vested interest in that particular uh, course. That's if we're working with a school that has a particular focus and aligning them with a company that has a particular focus. What I would like to see is kind of an adopt-a-school model. So um, if I'm a high school that focuses on the arts, then I'm going out and I'm talking to um, RI Integrated um, to work with that particular school on a long-term project or to um, be a partner for that school. Again, not just in name, 
but actually coming up with ways to engage uh, with the student body. Ultimately, again, we're trying to you know, shift the paradigm and make sure these young people are actually entering the workforce. Um, again, they don't necessarily have to go to college for many of these opportunities. They can start now. So what does that training look like? What do those opportunities look like? I'm hoping that we can replicate this process for other entrepreneurs like myself who want to be mentored by uh, people within the industry, but they may not have that direct uh, contact. And so I'm kind of a, a conduit uh, for them to reach out to additional people in that industry. And again, in a very organic and um, comfortable way. Because starting your own business uh, has a lot of stress involved. And so oftentimes um, we're not comfortable and we shy away from asking for help. Uh, but this you know, kind of decreases that fear so that people feel comfortable, they can ask for help, and they can start to build their network organically.